In this video, we'll learn how to find the equation of a line which passes through two points. Here's an example. Find the equation of a line passing through points 1, comma, minus 1 and 3, comma, 5. Pause the video, give this a try. All right, let's do this together. So there's one method that we can use, which is the slope point form. This method says the equation of a line is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. What do we need? We need the slope of the line and we need a point that's on the line. What do we have? Well, we have two points. One is enough, but we have one more. That's fine. Do we have the slope? Well, we don't have the slope, but we can figure that out. We can figure out the slope because we have these two points. So using the slope point form, we can solve this problem. But wouldn't it be interesting if we could figure this out without finding the value of the slope? We could call it the two point form where we input the coordinates of both of these points and directly get the equation. Well, we don't have it yet, but we can derive it. And usually the strategy for doing this is this. We can always use one of the previously derived forms to get the new ones. So let's do this using the old fashioned way. We can break things down. Step one would be to find the slope using both the points. And once we have the slope, we can use the slope point form to get the equation. So let's do that. The slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Plugging the points, this is what we get. 5 minus minus 1 by 3 minus 1. So that's 5 plus 1, 6 by 3 minus 1, 2. So 6 by 2 is 3. So the slope of this line is 3. And we have the points, so we can use the slope point form. That's y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. So that's y minus minus 1 equals to 3 times x minus 1. Now we can rearrange and get the equation. This is y plus 1 equals to 3x minus 3. And that's y equals to 3x minus 4. So this is our equation of this line. Now let's generalize this. Find the equation of a line passing through the points x1 comma y1 and x2 comma y2. Let's do exactly what we just did for these two points. So the slope point form says this, and we need to figure out the two point form. We'll do this in two parts. First, we'll find the slope and then we'll use the slope point form. So the slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. And plugging this here will give us y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. Here m is equal to this. So let's, let's isolate m. That's equal to this. And now equate m with this. This is what we get. y minus y1 by x minus x1. That's equal to the slope, which is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So now we no longer need m. And this is our equation in the two point form. We have derived an equation in which if we plug in the points x1, y1 and x2, y2, we'll directly get the equation. But if you ask me, I don't think we've done anything new. I don't think we've done anything special. This is just the slope point form in disguise. This right hand side is M. Just because we have not used the letter M doesn't mean we have not used the slope point form. We're doing both of these steps together. We're finding the slope on the right hand side and then using the slope point form. Now we can call it a new form, but the components are not new at all. Let's solve a problem. The vertices of a triangle are P 2 comma 1, Q minus 2 comma 3 and R 4 comma 5. So we have a triangle PQR and we need to do is find the equation of median through R. So pause the video, try this on your own. Okay, let's do this together. Median passes through the midpoints. So that's going to be our first step. Find the midpoint of PQ. Let's call it S. Now we have S and we have R. So we can use the two point form to find the equation of RS. That's going to be the equation of the median. Or we can do it the old fashioned way. We can find the slope and we can then use the slope point form. So either do this step by step or do this together and call it a new two point form. But first let's find the midpoint. So midpoint is S. We can calculate the coordinates by taking the averages. 2 and minus 2, the average is 0. And then 1 and 3, the average is going to be 2. So 0, 2 is our point S. This is the midpoint of PQ. Let's plot it. This is S, 0, 2. This is P, 2, 1. This is Q, minus 2, 3. And this is our R, 4, 5. Now the median passes through R and passes through S. 
this is the line that we need. So the equation of this line using two point form, that's going to be this. Plugging the values of x1, y1 and x2, y2, this is what we get. y minus 2 by x minus 0 equals to 5 minus 2 by 4 minus 0. Now we can simplify y minus 2 by x equals to 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 by 4, cross multiplying 4y minus 8 equals to 3x. This gives us 4y equals to 3x plus 8. So the equation of the median is 4y equals to 3x plus 8.